Hey, what's up, guys? GK Punk here, back with uh, another challenge pack video. Uh, this time, we're gonna tackle the Himapan Horror uh, challenge pack, and here we have to complete, I think, four challenges, and the fourth uh, completion of the four will unlock the main challenge, which is the Himapan Horror. So, starting off, we have a friend for dinner, which is assassinate five targets with a cleaver while disguised as a hotel staff. Uh, do not get spotted, all bodies must be found. Uh, second one uh, that I'm gonna do alongside this one is here's Johnny. Uh, assassinate four targets with an axe while disguised as the hotel staff. Do not get spotted, all bodies must be found. As you can see, all these have mo more than two targets. Most of them have more than two targets, so uh, you have to do them in contracts mode. Uh, the other ones are I'm Utterly Insane, which is assassinate two targets by drowning them while disguised as the hotel staff, and the stipulation number two and three are the same. Don't get spotted, all bodies must be found. Uh, this one uh, is also a bit counterproductive because all bodies must be found. It's like someone made a contract that says accident, but you have to box the body. Uh, so something like that. Uh, let the game begin is pushing three targets and their bodies must be found and you can't get spotted and then the main challenge is the redrum um, and that is to complete the four challenges and you get the antique lethal syringe uh, i made a couple of contracts to accomplish this one will be for the axe and cleaver as you can see and uh, i'm going to start here as the undercover Disguised as a hotel staff if you don't have this uh, I th for the other challenge. I think I will have uh, a solution or a an easy disguise that you can grab but there's like a million Hotel staffs in here, so it's very easy Yeah, it's the setup we don't really need anything because both the cleaver and the axe actually is in the map and you can't bring it in so only setup is where you start all right so the axe is right over at the linen room so I'm gonna start off by doing the axe uh, challenges first I throw it on that side so she comes in from the other side so I can get get her back That's uh, her. She found the guy's body, and we're gonna have him find her body. I can't get spotted, so I'm not sure if cameras count. So we're gonna shoot it out in this. So his body gets found. I think for the axe challenge, we only need to uh, have four bodies be found. So there you go. So he actually saw the other body. I don't even have to do this guy. Uh, kill this guy. Uh, RNG worked. But if it doesn't work, this guy can be easily uh, killed and his body will be found. Uh, so that's the, the Here's Johnny challenge. Fairly easy. Let's uh, do the other one. Alright, for the... For the cleaver challenge, I'm actually gonna switch it up and start in the kitchen so I can grab the cleaver right away. Uh, I think it would be a bit faster if I don't go go back to the kitchen as the Santa Boon and come back. So bring, I'm gonna bring the trank and uh, start in the kitchen for the cleaver challenge. Uh, 
the cleaver is over here and uh, right, be right by the start the NPCs are not cooperating the way I want them to so that's pretty frustrating uh, we also need a hotel staff disguise I've been getting this guy sometimes I get spotted grabbing his disguise because he takes his sweet time dying or you know getting knocked out That guy in front of me is an enforcer, so... That's a... Uh the idea is just to kill one of these targets and then get the other target to find the body and that way increase the counter. So as soon as he finds the body, I'm gonna hide this one. Last time I kept both these bodies, this other guy that I lured, he, instead of investigating the body, went straight for a guard. And not something I would like because I, I need some, I need him to see the body and then I will kill him and then I need to have his body be found later. Right, for this guy, I'm gonna toss a coin. I'm gonna try to use the camera and have his body be found through that. Let's see if it works. Yep, yeah, that. So the camera saw his body. The two missing bodies is this guy and the security guard. I'm gonna use the gunshot herd as a distraction so the guards go for that and they will find the two bodies that are yet to be found. There's the guard one and uh, the gunshot was inside of the linen room itself so let's just have to wait till he actually goes and finds it. Today preferably? You're supposed to find this one. Uh, he got distracted by the one guy he already found. There you go, finally he did it, uh, eventually. But that's the idea. Uh, the second, second challenge is done. On video it will just be back to back but I had to try this a couple of times uh, let's go to the next one all right on to the last two uh, the these ones are supposed to work if I get lucky and not spotted pushing some guys it should be silent assassin uh, if it's not silent assassin I'll probably have to restart because I want to do both of them in the same contract uh, I made a contract for that as well. Uh, assassinate two targets and by drowning and three targets by uh, pushing. Uh, and here's the contract. These are the guys that are very close to the start. Uh, all three guys here can be manipulated into pushing uh, very, very easily. Uh, this guy goes into the bathroom, but he, he there's a bug where he's uh, investigating uh, random question mark appears in his head in the middle of the bathroom and he doesn't do anything uh, this guy is close to the bathroom you'll see I'll use him as bait to get him uh, let's hope it all works uh, and the, the setup here is starting in 47 suite uh, bringing in a phone I'm bringing a phone as a distraction and coin as backup and the calmer for a knockout A little bit of cutscene playing to get, uh, I think his name is Hobbs, I don't remember. Hobbs out of the way. 
Um, and easy disguise, very convenient. This guy actually doesn't get found until after uh, you're gone, and the trank makes it so that his body found uh, won't count against Sal and Assassin. Um, here are the targets, there's two, there's one over there, and there's two downstairs. Uh, two upstairs, if you hadn't figured out, well, actually three upstairs, they are all push kills. And But before I start pushing guys, I'm gonna try to get this guy first. And I'm gonna toss a phone by the toilet. He hears that. And let's hope I can grab him for the drown. And there it is. Nice. This guy wasn't cooperating. He was stopping by the door and then leaving. So well, I'm drowning this guy first because once I start pushing people off that um, railing, he, he's going to be the one to spot it. And if he goes into panic, he won't be in any position to be drowned. Also, Ronald Sump is, I think I said that, uh, is not cooperating or actually behaving the way he's supposed to so this uh, oh he got that sound effect too nice this one also doesn't have a tracker so we have to wait till after we've completed the challenge to actually know that we did it. Oh no, I should have picked up the gun. Okay, so that's a bit of a problem with this guy going over there because he heard the sound. Gonna have to wait for him to come back. The Ronald Sump is coming back. Actually, he's investigating the bodies. Alright, so Sump's gonna continue into the bathroom. I'm gonna have. Uh, I'm gonna go drown him because he's actually ahead of his cycle. He's. Or I might be late. He's gonna see that body, and that's the bait. Oh, oh my God, what is going on? If you guys didn't know, you can bait one target into drowning by having a body very close to the bathroom, because that's usually the first thing they do is investigate. Let's see if throw throw works. So I threw the coin to get his attention and second throw to get him inside the bathroom. I guess I did too late. Uh, he should see the body. And uh, final guy. Let's push him down. There you go, he found the body and that's uh, the utterly insane challenge uh, done. And the final challenge, which is going to be the last push kill. And he didn't even hear it, what a joke. I'm gonna have to be careful that nobody spots me by the door. Okay, we should be good. His body needs to be found and then the challenge should pop up. Someone can can someone spot his body please? There you go. Thank you. Then that's let the game begin. It's a bit slower than I anticipated because I'm talking uh, over it, so I'm not thinking straight. Uh, but that's that's basically it. Uh, screw Screw played this contract and it worked for him, so I was happy to see it work already because I hadn't tested it on it myself.
So that's all the contracts. Uh, another messy challenge pack, but everything is accomplished, and we got a silent assassin run out of it. So I'm happy with this. Uh, the recording session was a little bit miserable because of the the cleaver part wasn't working properly for me. Uh, but anyways, there are all the challenges. There's the silent assassin, number one in the global leaderboard. Shout out to Manga. Uh, and here's the re uh, reward, antique lethal syringe. It's a good item because it's a lethal poison. So, yeah, I like this one. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Uh, no hope for scarecrow challenge pack. I don't even know if I want to do that one. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See you. Alright, so the cleaver is here. I figured. Oh, yeah, 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 oh.